This is pretty easy. Here in front of us is a CPU that already had compound on it. I have wiped it off a little bit, but I'm gonna be showing you some details on this. Now, if you have a brand new CPU, you can skip the cleaning process if you're just installing a new CPU. But what I'm doing in this situation is this already had it on top of it. So we need to clean this. We also need to clean the back of our coarse air as we can see here. So we're gonna clean off this side as well. Now how to get to that step is obviously with the computer off. My coarse air just had four nuts, one on each side, coming up here, down below, there and there. Go ahead and unscrew those lefty loosey. And then the coarse air just slipped right off and go ahead and just put that off to the side there. I already took one stick of RAM out. Just make sure it's not damaging anything else. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a napkin. A paper towel will work as well. And we'll work our way up to the isopropyl alcohol, which I use for this. But right now we're just gonna use a dry napkin. And like I said, I've already cleaned off some of it just so I could read the numbers below. But what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna go around it and clean off as much as you can, getting it on the napkin there before we start getting into the interior portion with our Q-tips. Because what we wanna do is we want this not to touch any com other components. We wanna be very careful as we're cleaning this and also applying it as well. So once you've cleaned it, probably the best you can with the napkin or paper towel. If you need another one, grab yourself another probably clean one and go ahead and do the same thing on this. If you don't have a water cooler one, then just do this on the back of whatever's compressing into your CPU. There's a lot of gunk on this. Depends how long that compound has been on the CPU or the back of the cooler. And we're looking Fantastic, they're nice and clean. Okay, now the next step is grab some isopropyl alcohol. If you guys don't know what that is, look in the description box below. I'll link some isopropyl alcohol and the CPU compound. It's in the description box right below the video. Isopropyl alcohol is not gonna hurt your computer, but we don't want it really soaked. So just get it nice and damp. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the back of this as we are the CPU. We're literally just gonna take the napkin and clean it with that damp portion of where I douse the isopropyl alcohol on. And we want just a beautiful clean surface. As you can see there, we didn't even know that was on there, but the isopropyl alcohol was able to get the rest of the remaining off, as we can see there, beautiful. Now the isopropyl alcohol will dry very quickly. Just make sure there is no napkin residue either, but that will dry very quickly. And I just noticed I have a little bit up on my prongs here. So make sure that's off as well, okay. We're gonna do the same thing to our CPU here. I re-doused it with a clean portion of the napkin, and we're gonna do the same thing on the CPU, getting the entire flat area there nice and clean with isopropyl alcohol. Okay, now we're gonna use Q-tips, and if you're wondering what we're gonna use Q-tips for, there is compound in the edges right here up on top and right around the edge, we're gonna need to clean out as well. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and use it dry, getting the big chunks out, as we can see there, right on the tip there, and then turning it around to the clean side. And you can use a couple Q-tips. Q-tips are pretty cheap these days. I'll do the same thing over here on this side and on the bottom here, and just watch it. Make sure no big chunks go down below. And then what we're gonna do now with the big, big chunks out of the way, is I like to put the isopropyl alcohol inside the cap, and then we don't want it soaked, so just make sure it's not like dripping off of there. And so what you actually wanna do probably if they're, if you've put a little too much in there, just go ahead and wipe it just a little bit off on the napkin. And then with the isopropyl, now again, not over dripping or anything like that, we're gonna go ahead and scrape in there again. And if we do get it on the flat portion side, we'll just take a, another napkin and clean the top. But we're just getting the edges, and so it's nice and clean all the way around. And I'm not pushing in too hard. I'm just kind of, you know, going around the edges here getting it underneath on the bottom there. We'll just do that one more time, dip it on in there, brush off any excess so it's not dripping, and then getting in there one more time here. And then we'll take our napkin, give it one more little wipey wipey right on the top, make sure they, everything is looking really good. All right, just cleaning off the top there because we did look like we smudged a little bit. Okay, 
Let's wipe that down with a clean side and bada bing, bada boom. That is a clean CPU. Now you're saying to yourself, Chris, what do we do now? That's a great question. I'm gonna answer that right now. This is just leftover compound I did have, but I do recommend Arctic compound. I'll have that linked in the description box below as well. I just couldn't find my other one, but I have this stick here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the thermal compound and we're gonna go ahead and put on about the size of a small P. Uh, another way to look at it here is probably this capacitor, maybe the size of that right in the middle. We don't wanna do too much because we don't want it flowing over the edges. We just wanna go ahead and put a nice dab in and I recommend doing it slow and putting it right in the middle there. That looks pretty good right there. Maybe I'll add a little bit more over to this side. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Not quite dead center, but it's pretty center. A little hard with the camera right in front of my uh, line of sight. All right, now what we're gonna do, now that this side is clean, we're literally going to put that on as straight as possible. I'm gonna back the camera up there just a little bit here so we can see what we're doing here. So now what we're gonna do here is we're literally gonna press this on as even as we can, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on our nuts going in a X shape. So if you start top right, your next one is gonna be bottom left. So again, what we wanna do, let me go low so I don't block the shot, is just, again, nice and evenly. You wanna, number one, before you press it down, making sure it slips over your nut bolts there, and then just literally, Go ahead and just give it nice and even pressure. Okay, then we're gonna start with our top right and we're gonna screw in our nut, top right. And then we're gonna go down while we're continuing to put pressure on this. If you have to, go ahead and release it. I, I'm still putting pressure in with my middle finger. And then we're gonna go ahead and go bottom left now. Okay, and then before we do them completely tight all the way around, we're gonna go ahead and do now top left and I'm doing it like probably 99% as tight as it would go. Bottom right's a little bit tough with the tubes right here in front of me. Remember that these ends do have a Phillips head screwdriver on them as well. So maybe for some of these tough ones, you can use a screwdriver instead. Now we're gonna go back up, tighten it up. We're gonna go back down below, bottom left, tighten that one up and there we go. Go back up top left, and now bottom right is gonna be 100% there, and then we'll just triple check them, making sure it's nice and tight there. You can use a screwdriver if you really want to. If yours looks like this with the Phillips head on the end of it, don't over tighten it, but you could just give it one more little go around. And that's it guys, that's how you put thermal compound on your CPU. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, look in the description box right below the video where you're gonna find the isopropyl alcohol and some other supplies. And if you wouldn't mind thumbing that video up to help the algorithm so that other people can find this video as well, hit that subscribe on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.